Everyone keeps talking about PewDiePie and the channel called T-Series. Everyone is worried that T-Series is going to catch up to PewDiePie and subscribers. They are so close right now, the YouTuber MrBeast even spent a bunch of money advertising to promoting PewDiePie's channel so people subscribe to it. I mean look at the subscriber counts right now, it's so close. But guys, everyone is looking at the wrong channel, except me, because I'm a genius fan. So guys, drum roll please, let's see the channel that is going to end up being the number one channel on YouTube. That's right guys, it's called Coco Melon. You guys probably never heard of it before. Now you might be wondering, Pink Sheep, this channel has much less subscribers than PewDiePie and T-Series. How do you think it will catch up? Well wait till I show you the views and subs this channel is getting every day. Okay guys so look, this channel is getting this many views every single day. If you compare that to PewDiePie you'll see why that's crazy. It's basically getting a similar amount of subscribers and views per day than T-Series is getting. But the reason I think that Coco Melon will pass both these channels is because it is continuing to grow every month. This past month the channel increased its views by 20%, whereas T-Series is only up by less than 1%. Fam, if my math is correct, and it's usually not, then in 14 months this channel will pass PewDiePie and T-Series. Let's take a look at the channel for a second. They literally upload nursery rhymes that get way too many views. Look this video was uploaded only a week ago and has this many views. Why don't my videos get that many views? Unlike T-Series, which uploads like 43 videos every hour. This channel only uploads a couple times per week which makes this so much more impressive. Well guys so there it is. This channel is going to be the next number one channel on YouTube. It might take a few years but I called it here first. Maybe I should start making nursery rhymes for babies to get more views. And maybe it will make my son Purple Shep shut up and stop talking about toasters all the time. Anyway I hope this video helped you guys realize that I'm smart. Thanks for watching and just to let you know I ate a chocolate cake for dinner.